In this lesson, we'll take a look at uh, the problems associated with plotting a circle in Cartesian coordinates. And this is typically the way you taught it initially is with this equation x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared with r being the radius. And so in this case, if you see an equation like this, x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, well, since the equation form is r squared, then the square root of the 16 is 4. So the radius of the circle is going to be 4. You just take the square root of that number. And so I have a circle down here. It doesn't look like a very good circle. And that's the issue I'm going to t show you about why Cartesian coordinates don't really work that great for plotting circles. So, so what I've done in this case to plot the circle, I've solved the equation. And to do that, I've I, here's the equation solved, y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 minus x squared. And if you don't recognize how to do that, basically I took x squared, I subtracted x squared from this side, and I subtracted x squared from that side. That's where it's 16 minus x squared. And then that left y squared on this side of the equation. And then to get y by itself, I took the square root of y squared to equal y. And then I took the square root of this side of the equation as well. And then you have to use positive and negative values because, for instance, you know if you you can take the square root of 16, the number 16 all by itself, and it could actually be 4 or negative 4 because negative 4 times negative 4 is equal to 16, and 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So you have to use plus or minus values in here, and then once you have that, we build a table, fill in a table full of values, and so that's what I've done. I created a table. And I, I basically said, oh, I'm going to use the x values of negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So that's why here on the x-axis you see negative 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. I started with those that I'm going to plug in to this equation. And so let's solve the first one. So if I plug in negative 4 into here, I get 16. And 16 minus 16 is 0. And so my answer is plus or minus 0. Well, of course, that's 0 in that case. So oh, let's try negative 3. So negative 3 I plug in, and that would be 9. So 16 minus 9 is equal to 8, I mean, is equal to 7. And th then it'd be the square root of 7 and plus or minus values, and that's what we have here, 2.65. All right? And then, uh, and then it just continues on. So I essentially have to add plus or minus values here. You actually have to calculate it twice to get the negative values and the positive values in equation form within a spreadsheet. And then, but you see the problem is that when you plot in Cartesian coordinates is that, say, at the zero location, here the values are 4 and 4, 4 and negative 4. And out here, if you step out to negative 1, at, there's that point there, negative 2, there's that point there, there's negative 3, but then at negative 4, to connect the dots, it has to connect it like this, and then to get a, a smoother point, maybe I would have to also use a table, I mean a number of negative 3.5, or maybe the negative 3.75, as this point gets closer and closer to this location. So it's not really a very easy way to plot because you can't just generate a table of x values that have even intervals. You know, it would have to be, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3.5, 3.7, etc. to make nice smooth points around the curve. And instead, a better way is to use uh, the trigonometric functions and plot in polar coordinates. And we'll do that in the next lesson, in part two of this lesson. And then you can see you actually can plot the, the points along the circle uh, evenly distributed all the way around the circle and you get a much nicer circle that way. But in this case this does allow you to solve the equation and you can actually plot the points that way if you want but for graphical representation polar coordinates is uh, what's a lot more fun. Alright and I'll show you that in the next lesson. Alright I'll see you then.